What's up everybody, the Silver Ghost Wolf here, and welcome back to more Pikmin 2. Last time, I kind of got killed by everything. Well, the Pikmin did. Anyway, I actually recently realized I've never looked at that Pico... Picopedia... Pikminpedia! And treasure, so let's check that out real quick. I don't think I'm gonna go over all of these, but recovered our first treasure. Amazing, the Pikmin remembered how to salvage it. I can't understand their adorable language, and I don't know what they're thinking, yet I'm so happy to see them. When I crashed on this planet, the Pikmin helped me locate my missing ship parts. In my darkest hour, the Pikmin were there for me. Now that I've reunited with them, I know everything will be alright. It will, right? I'm thinking that this was made before Olimar saw how bad I was at doing this. So... Hmm, wait, how many are there? Yeah, I'm not gonna go over every single treasure because I just realized this might take too long. Maybe I'll make a video at the end of the series that shows all the uh, treasures and stuff together. I found this fascinating fruit while exploring today. The skies cleared up and I felt peaceful watching the pink flower players flutter in the wind. During the perilous expedition, it seemed strange to have such a soft-hearted romantic thought. If I told my wife about this, I'm sure I get laughed at. Again. Not a very good marriage, I guess. Huh. Oh, wait, this actually tells me the name of all these guys. So let's see, Emperor Ballbacks, Beady Longlegs, Burrowing Snagret, Emperor's Ballbacks. Dude, that's your wife? We ain't shaming. Where's that thing that kept killing me? Here! Yellow Wallywogs. Yellow Wallywog. I forgot friend. No, no, no. Imp. I cannot pronounce these words. The man this magnificent specimen has the brightest gold coloration and the greatest number of lacrosse spots of any member in the. I cannot say this up. The species seems to have lost some swimming proficiency with the evolution. So, it, basically, that was a frog. Somehow they've gone up there, and where is that? Hang on, hang on. Where is that thing? I knew where it was. The orange bullbacks. Where is it? Does it not count if I don't bring them back? Or, oh, they're not even called that. Orange bulbor. These things. Both guards with deep orange body and black spots. The orange make it clear that this is grub dogs is simply edgy and high strung, making it easier to wake up from deep sleep than other species. Oh, that's why it kept killing me. Yeah, go to area selection. I think I'm. Well, I'm gonna start showing them, but I'm probably gonna make a video at the end of the series that just goes over every treasure and uh, every enemy. But we're going back to the Awakening Wood because there's one more in here. Day 13. Okay. If I'm remembering right, how many... How many reds do I have? Oh, God. I have 293. Who is the highest of the number? I don't think I need this many blues. So we're gonna take. Cause I'm about to go resupply the whites. Gonna grab these blues. And. Okay, well, eventually, you know what, here, I'm gonna pause just so I don't waste time. 
I'm gonna go into these caves to get more whites and um, purples because my numbers are low. So, I'll see you guys then. And we're back. So, I grinded up some purples and some whites, so we're not at empty anymore. Anyway, I want to take 10 purples. I want to take 10 whites, because I have no clue what's down there. I got 40, so let's see. I'm going to take about 30 reds. Actually, we're gonna just make it 20 of reds and 20 yellows. Oh. And now we're gonna go take care of... Actually, hang on. Where's those whites? Come here, white guys. That sounded so wrong. Oh. last dungeon and this way I don't have to worry about anybody killing myself see I'm learning how to play the game I just wish I could have got rid of all these corpses and added them to the collection but I think they're over at base oh well in we go. Snaggert Hole 
beware water, electricity, and poison. You ever get that feeling you might have just made a mistake? I'm starting to get that every time I try and plan on how many Pikmin to take places. Snaggert Hole, level one. Okay. While I do think this is a fun game, I gotta know, why are, why are they out of the squad as soon as I land? Shouldn't they automatically be with me? Pick, specifically pick a certain pick up men type because I'm pressing every button and that can't happen oh because I think I just lost some whites again like a marble. I was right. I wonder what they're trying to call it. Crystallized telekinesis. You know what? I actually see it. the bed if there was a way to just individually pick a Pikmin type it was told at the beginning and I have forgotten how to do it uh, where is the way to go oh I like this music though Oh, the feather. Wait, are we in a... We are! We're in a birdhouse! How did... How is there a birdhouse underground? Well, while we wait on him... I guess I should update a little bit about what uh, I'm going to be doing on the channel. So, as soon as Pikmin 2 gets done, I've got a few series I'm planning. I've actually been recording another series to put up as soon as Pikmin 2 gets done and a majority of it's almost done. I think I've got like three more levels. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now for anybody watching. It's gonna be something completely different than what I've done with the last few Let's Plays. <laughs> that poor Pikmin, he walked that far just to give one feather. I saw a comment on a video that said something of, I'm gonna see if he actually comes or not. If not, well, welcome to your new home. You live in the birdhouse. But I think he'll come. Margaret Hole. Oh, hey, he did come with us and... 
Okay. I was questioning the birdhouse, but there is no way this is underground. This honestly looks like... Can I throw Pikmin in there? Yes, I can. Take the corpse back. We're taking everything we can get. Well, since I know you guys are safe there, I'm not going to bother to come and get you back. Stupid to try that by myself, so... Yellows. Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Wait, I have blues. Red, get over there. Okay. That wasn't even a treasure. I thought that was a treasure. That's why I was... Oh, well. If I attack them before they come up here? your strength for someone a little more important. Oh, not you guys. Run! We will wait till I get the rest of the army. And by we, I mean Louis. Go get the army. Is that a piece of sushi? Sushi? Raw fish? I can't. <laughs> I don't know why. It just sounded weird when I said sushi. That. What is that? Taste sensation. Oh wait, no. Uh, oh dang, I think I know what that is, but I can't actually remember the correct name. I've never had one, but I've seen them before. They sell them at the Kroger near me.
Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that is, but get it. you guys getting him just yet. will now be upgraded. I mean, uh, wait, some of you have flowers. Okay, only some of you are getting upgraded for doing absolutely nothing. Is that another strawberry? No, how do I get this? Oh. Okay, this is clearly a sandbox. There's no way this should be underground. But, basic logic states there is treasure up there. Or not. I thought there would be a treasure or something up there. Can I do anything with the bucket? Nope. It's just there for decoration. Oh, I thought they were closer. Come on, get over the wall. I know you guys know how to do this. And put the other strawberry in. Combustion berry. a feeling there's going to be more snag rates considering the name of this place. Probably going to start showing at least the bosses off at the end of the day. 